One of the things that's baffling me right now, and just to completely uh, go to a different sport, is why is FIFA crazy? Like, why, why are they, is this, this bullshit argument going on? If, if the women's soccer don't want to play on artificial turf, and I don't blame them, why is FIFA digging their heels? Well, they can't play anywhere else. Nobody wants the women's tournament, Frank. Canada took it with the proviso that we will play all of the tournament games on artificial turf. And if you don't like it, you can keep it. And they said, that's good. That's one more country than we have on the table right now. That's why the girls have come in post hoc and retrospectively and trying to sue them. They're joking. I mean, Jesus. They, yeah, they wouldn't have anywhere to play. I see their play. point, though, Billy. I see their point. They do not want to play on artificial turf. Well, then don't play. But FIFA is going to make a lot of money out of Canada. And FIFA is going to support the women and the men, and they're going to have to play it on. They, I, I think it's a frivolous lawsuit. Uh, but particularly, uh, they'll, with, they'll, know, they'll know when they go in uh, for, for the, at the beginning, and if the judge is going to throw it out as a frivolous lawsuit. Well, if, if the history of, the, of, of, of women's soccer is fully explained to the judge, he'll say, "What are we sitting here for?" That's what he'll say, and the girls will have to explain. We once they get booted out of Canada. Who's going to no come where. and watch them on yeah. the natural turf? And where? That's too bad. Bad advice. Yeah, yeah. But, but you, what I don't understand is who rallied them all together? Who uh, put this argument? First of all, artificial turf, nobody wants to play on artificial turf anymore. Nobody. Right. I guess they call it field turf now, but correct. Well, it, 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 it's, it, it's terrible. It, you ever... It, Tony, ever play anything on artificial turf? Uh, grass, nope. Synthetic grass, nylon grass? I, I have not, but I've certainly been on that surface, and uh, I agree it's not exactly a comfortable surface to be walking. It's hard, and put fall on it. Yeah. See, see if you don't strip your knees apart. Yeah. And, uh, and, and we're talking, so they're all across Canada, but the games that are scheduled to play in this field turf are in Vancouver, Ottawa, Edmonton, which I always thought was grass, but not any longer. And also in Montreal, which is going to use the Olympic Stadium. Well, it costs too much money to maintain uh, natural uh, grass. Yeah. You got to water it. You got to fertilize it. You got to cut it. Once and they lay the shit down, it's it's easy to do and it's easy to take apart. You know what I'm saying to you? Yeah, and it's funny because uh, in Toronto at Rogers Center, they're going to put in a new artificial turf for next season. But the hope is in two seasons from now or three, they'll have grass. Well, Tony, aren't they playing some games in BMO? No, Toronto is not part of the FIFA Women's World Cup. Oh, I didn't. Uh, well, I, I I didn't see their name mentioned either, and I thought, well, it's yeah, and I don't, and I'm assuming because TFC is playing, and maybe because of uh, other issues, Toronto is not part of the Women's World Cup. It's also bigger stadiums. Yeah. But right now, all the stadiums that you're Vancouver talking about are 55, far 000. bigger than the one that they could play in in Toronto. That's true. And if you're talking, the girl, the women are saying this is like sexist, like. They sure. wouldn't do this to the to to to, in, to the, the men, argument. right? But the point exactly is, what you just said. but at the, the point, is you wouldn't do it to the guys, but you're doing it to us. But they'd never have it in Canada. There's, Canada will never get this championship. The difference between the men's and the women's is significant. So the women are. But, but, but hear me out. Hear me out. I think that I think that Billy made the, the most valid point, and he's very perceptive. Nobody wants it. Canada took it to to, to support the you know women's soccer, right? Mm -hmm. And now this is this argument or this, and I understand their point. I really don't care if you guys don't. I, I really understand their point. They don't want to. I, if I was uh, playing soccer uh, at any level, I would want to play on uh, artificial turf or whatever the new term is. Right, I, and and I admire them for going ahead. But what are their options? Yeah. No uh, one else well, wants to turn. Their options are their options are uh, they're shit out of luck, as Billy said. Because yeah. I agree with Billy. Exactly. Yeah, I, I don't think they have any options here. And, and, and you know, and, and, and they're getting bad advice from somebody. Because if I was going to give them advice, I'd say, you know what? You, um, you're going to have to grin and bear, uh, play the way it is right now, and try to build an audience. You guys don't have enough uh, audience to create leverage for any, any demands you guys have. They're doing you a favor in the eyes of FIFA, in the eyes of everybody else, for giving them uh, this kind of tournament. Am I right or am I wrong, Bill? That's right. Well, they, they had nowhere to play, and then they had no people. 
uh, clamoring uh, for the tournament. And uh, they, because of Canada's success in women's soccer, uh, they were anxious to get it. And good for us. And now after we got it and made a commitment to them, the girls have decided to sue. And uh, that's my point. If the judge hears this, he's going to say, what, what, what's going on here? Do you just sue for the sake of suing? Okay, pardon my ignorance, but who's suing? Is, is it the actual, um, the Association of Women's Soccer in Canada that's created this lawsuit? Is no, it it's... actually them? Or, or is it uh, every single player? I, well, it's players, and, and they are from all over. There's yeah. about 40 of them, right? 40 of them. It's not just the association, right? No, it's, it's a group of players. Yeah. yeah, so the group of players have said, you know, we, we really don't understand why you're doing this, right? Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. And, and the funny thing is, one of the Canadian players, her main sponsor now is the group that makes the artificial turf. So... You know what? When they, when they did the thing, it sounded great at the time. Now maybe the women feel like their sport has advanced and they're trying to play that, that, that card or whatever, right? Or now it's coming closer and closer and they go, oh no, we're going to have to play on artificial turf. The bottom line is they've picked an odd time to all of a sudden lodge this protest, even though they've got unity or 40 some odd players representing how many. It's a year away. It's kind of like a little too late to be, to, to be making this statement or to be making this this claim that they don't want to why didn't they do it then or do they think women's soccer is more important than it is i i disagree with those points i think they're just making a point that they don't uh, they don't want to play on artificial turf i think they're happy that the tournaments in canada they just don't want to play on that turf that and they don't believe this is this is what i read guys and correct me they don't believe it's fair that this would never happen in men's soccer never and and they're right of course it wouldn't, but look okay. at the Frank, of men's soccer. Yeah, and but it doesn't world. matter what the attendance or the television deals is. I'm just trying to tell you that this is a little chauvinistic. I don't give a fuck how, whatever way that the press in there, or whatever anybody spin, puts a spin in it. They are playing world-class soccer for women. And I think it's a little chauvinistic that they're doing different things because it's women versus men. Well, no, but Frank, you know what? It's very chauvinistic of the women as well to think that with their fledgling history in playing soccer compared to what the men have developed in the World Cup, to think that they can sue in order that they... I agree, I agree. I think that's a, li that, I think that's a little... That was a little far-fetched and a little bad advice from whoever, whoever did that. I, hey, I agree. Hey, 